Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. We are nine weeks out, so that's exciting. This is going to be the start of the weekly vlog. I am just eating my pre-workout meal, which is still 100 grams of cream of rice. My food hasn't changed. Um, he's just up my fat burner slightly. And uh, yeah, that's that. So I am going to try and quads this morning. I'm not going to film everything in the gym, but if I film, I maybe do all this in filming on my phone. We'll see. I kind of feel like I filmed a lot of quad days, but we'll see. Maybe if I'll do something exciting or different, maybe I'll film, maybe I won't. I'm not so sure. But before I go to the gym, because it doesn't open till nine, I'm going to go to the food shop, get some food shopping and I'll, I'll leave them in my car. Like it's going to get warm today, but not like to the point where I can't leave my food in the car for a couple of hours in the morning. Uh, it's probably after lunch, it will probably get up to around 20 degrees Celsius, so... And I don't really think I need any... And I, I don't need any, like, meat or anything like that, so it'll be fine. Um, for my day today, I'm gonna do a live stream tonight. i am also got a plan to write, and I've got a weekly vlog to start editing or finish editing. And do some emails, and that's about it. Um... I'll definitely have a nap because I've been up since three o'clock, two thirty. I'm, I'm, I think right. The reason why, because yesterday was a rest day, and I think the reason why my weight's not shifting on rest days is because one, I do a lot more steps than normal. So normally on a training day I do around twelve to fifteen. On my rest days I do seventeen to twenty. So I think it's the amount of steps that I do. Plus on my rest days I sleep really shit. Because I'm hungry, so if I wake up at 2.30, I can't sleep anymore because I'm hungry. And I think because my sleep's crap and my steps are increased, I think this is why I don't lose weight on a train rest day compared to a training day. That's my guess anyway. Um, just my cortisol is up and I've got inflammation in the legs from walking. That's the only thing that I can think of that I'm doing differently. Because my weight did drop down a lot earlier in the week. And... That day I actually walked very little, only like seven and a half thousand steps because I was so busy I couldn't take the dogs for bigger walks. So they, I mean like they they had a bigish walk, but not her normal sort of like normally I walk for around an hour in the morning, 45 minutes to an hour. And then in the afternoon she goes again for half an hour to 45 minutes. So she gets a lot of exercise. However, um, that day I could only do a quick walk at lunch for like 10 minutes. And I think only for both the dogs half an hour in the morning. And in the evening, I went to Alex, and basically, Felika walked the dogs for me. So that day, I actually got very little steps in for me. Like, 8,000, like, under 10. Like, I, for me to get under 10,000 steps, that's like a once in a bloomer situation. Um, so I think, but that made me drop my weight a lot. And that night, I slept amazing at Alex. I went to bed at 9, 9.30, and I think I slept at, like, 5 or 5.30. Pretty much uninterrupted. So... I had a very good sleep and I walked very little and those were the common denominators. So yeah, anyway, regardless, I'm not too worried about my weight as you saw in the check-in that I kind of did there in the mirror. I'm getting really lean so, you know, I've got to remember I'm taking, I am taking growth hormone and this is literally what growth hormone does. So, on that note, the disclaimer, I'm just documenting my journey, don't do it like me. I have a coach, he tells me what to do, I get my blood tested, usually every couple of months. So yeah, what I'm doing is extreme, it is unhealthy. So I'm just documenting my journey, sharing it with you, and hope, hopefully you'll enjoy watching the process of getting stage ready. Mm. On that note, I'm trying to download a TikTok, so I can, if you want to know how I do this, these space bumps, because people have been asking, I'll upload it as a reel. A story or whatever they call it the little ones the short things at TikTok on YouTube and then um, I need to start doing them a bit more actually but yeah anyway Good morning guys, we're back with a, a little car vlog. I'm just on my way to the gym to do some cardio. Um, as you saw, 
my weight's quite low. It's Monday morning, by the way. I didn't really do any vlogging yesterday for the simple reason that I just wasn't in the mood. Um, all weekend, I did reactions, I did filming, I did editing. The last thing I wanted to do yesterday, on top of working all day, is to basically vlog more. So, let me just get in focus. So, I didn't. Um, like, obviously, if I'm doing like weekly vlogs, there's just gonna be days where I'm just not in the mood to vlog, which is okay. So today is quite a busy day for me. Um, I don't even think I'll have time to film and edit a reaction because it's gone 8 o'clock already. I took Daisy for a big walk this morning because the weather is nice. It's gonna rain all afternoon. So this was the only time I could take her for a big walk. I need to take her to the vet actually because she's got like a wound that uh, appeared yesterday. Not it didn't appear yesterday, it appeared today. So it must have happened yesterday. But I think what it is, I think it's maybe like a horsefly bite or something like that. Um, because all the insects are starting to come out and obviously I do give them medication for it But like it doesn't stop her from getting bitten from horseflies. So I need to take her to the vet at some point today um, And uh, I've got a sports massage at 11 I'm going to the gym now uh, It's because like 8 30 something like that to do my cardio to do some stretching and then I will do a little bit of sauna and stuff when I come back from my sports massage which will probably be like 12.31 I'll eat Take the dogs for a walk Probably take Daisy to the vet Because that's the only time I really have an opportunity And then at 3.30 No, at 2.30 I have a nail appointment um, But I have to be Try and be home before 4 o'clock Because from 4 to Between 4 and 7 I basically have check-ins and live streams and stuff So I've, I've got a really busy day Where I literally just don't have any spare time except for now which is uh, this is why i'm kind of taking this time for myself just uh like you know have some time off um where i'm not literally working from uh five o'clock in the morning until seven o'clock at night because i've literally worked the entire weekend as well and i'm just like i, I just need to i just need to take a little i need i need to take some time for myself basically uh i also need to after the gym because I'll, I won't be that long because I've only got some cardio and stretching and spa so I'm not gonna be oh I say that my appointment is at 11 I need to go there's a pet shop that I need to go to around here uh, to get some dog food so I'll do that I could do it with going to the pharmacy because I need to pick up some uh, some uh, uh, supplements stuff my coach wants me to take um, but I can probably, worst case scenario, I could probably do that tonight after I finished with all my um, check-ins and stuff or in between the live streams because there's a pharmacy just around the corner from where I live, it's literally like a two minute walk so I can do that because I don't know if I have the time after the spa because by the time the spa, like it doesn't take so long but it's just like by the time I've showered and done everything, it takes like around an hour, you know. Um, I take, took some food with me which is just some chicken and... and uh, and chicken and pineapple, chicken and uh, cucumber, because I uh, I didn't just didn't get time to make my oats, so I'll I'll make the oats later. And yeah, I mean like I'm looking pretty fucking. I'm starting to look really freaky, to be honest. Like my ab veins are starting to get really out of control. Um, I'm starting to get really good quad veins, uh, not quad uh, calf veins. My quad veins want to come through, but I've I've had a lot of inflammation in my quads just from uh, recovery from training them. Uh, so they're not showing as much, but my glutes are leaning out a lot. I'm getting a lot of like pretty deep lines in my glutes. As you saw, my serratus is fucking crazy at the moment. So yeah, weight's not changing a lot, but we're moving in the right direction. I'm honestly, I know this is a really dumb thing to say, but I'm really surprised by how well the growth hormone works. Because I didn't have results like this last year when I was taking the Prima and the Anavar. And I'm taking the same amounts as I was doing last year. So the only thing that's different this time around is the growth hormone and it, re it really does make a fucking difference. Like I feel like I've potentially put on around two kilos of muscle since I started taking it. Or well, maybe since, uh, that, in the last couple of months anyway. Which is like, oh well, since my last off season, maybe like a kilo of muscle since I started taking it. Which is still insane. Um, because like, you know, people train a whole year for that. So yeah, the growth hormone really does work. The question is also, is Paul's open? It might not even be open because it's like a bank holiday here at the moment. <sighs> which would be kind of shit because then that means that I can't really do the spa. Which means I'm going to have to go to titanium for my cardio. Which, oh, it's kind of like, then I need to go back to Sudensky later, so I don't know. 
I don't know what I'll do. If Paul's is closed, maybe I'll just go home. But I've taken pre-workout though. Maybe I'll go for a walk. I don't know. I'll still worry about that. We're almost there, so. <coughs> anyway. I am... Um, I do have to be a bit more mindful with doing these car vlogs because I just end up just talking so much shit. Okay, just stop it for me. That basically, when I'm editing the, the weekly vlog, which I know you guys love the weekly vlogs, the issue with that is, is that I have many hours worth of footage to go through and it took me maybe like four or five hours to edit the last vlog. So it's just a bit like I like. Don't get me wrong. I love that you guys love it. It's just for my, for me. It's like on the weekend. I don't really want to spend like five, six hours editing, four, five hours editing. You know. So, but it's fine. So I need to just minimise these 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 shitty vlogs in the car. I say that, and then I've already been talking for like six uh, six whole last minutes. So clearly I haven't learned my lesson. <laughs> anyway, pulse is open. So I'll see you afterwards. Finish the cardio. I actually managed to get 10 minutes of spa, uh, well, 10 minutes of sauna and then 5 minutes of cold plunge in. Now I'm quickly going to eat my first meal of the day, it's like 11 o'clock pretty much, um, it's 10 to 11, so just made it in time. I went to the food shop as well, uh, well not just only, it's like a, it's got everything, like food shops, a pharmacy and pet shop and stuff. So I've got some dog food, I went to the pharmacy but I didn't have what I needed, I need to get some dandelion root. Um, some berberine and um, something else um, but they didn't have the two things that I need um, the other thing they would have had because it's over the counter but I got what I needed from the food shop anyway coffee pineapple and I got the dill crisps the dill rice cakes oh, they're my favorite and they're the only shop that stock them that's why I don't go there often because I'll just buy them but as a treat sometimes they're kind of nice when I get back I'll eat to them And then when I take the dog for a walk, I just walk into the vet. There's one near my near me. Because I think it's just a horsefly bite. And she probably just needs some cream on it or something like that. Um, but I still need to get checked out, of course. Then get my nails done. And then check it all in. I'm telling them to focus on my glutes. For the sports massage, I'm going to tell them to focus on my glutes. And my hips a lot. And my lower back, because it's really painful. No, no. I'll be back later. All right, so it's like 5.30 and honestly, this guy, this day has been random, this guy. I have been non-stop. I feel so stressed out. I haven't had time to do anything. All of my appointments run late. I've had to, Daisy, please. I've had to move everything across and now I need to take Daisy to the vet. My nails are done. They're looking nice. I like them, but look. Come here. You see, I don't know what this is. So I need to get that checked out. No, no, Rose. I think it's just a bite from a horsefly, but it wasn't there. Daisy, please. It wasn't there yesterday, so... I'm just gonna go on to the vet now, and then I don't know. Oh, fuck knows. Oh, man. Today is not a good day for me whatsoever. Oh, guys, good morning. It is Tuesday morning. So yesterday, after I got back from the vet, I was just so exhausted from stressing and running around that I didn't end up doing any filming. There's nothing seriously wrong with Daisy, apparently it's just eczema. So they've given me some medication, a spray and a cream that I need to put on twice a day, and that's it. Um, today I will be going to Alex, so um, I'll probably leave at around 6ish. Uh, I'm going to train this morning, so I think I'll take you with me because I'm going to try and go a bit earlier, so I'm ready to get ready to walk the dogs, so I can be back in time and eat and go to the gym. Um, so I need to pack for that. I'm probably going to stay until f Friday, maybe Saturday, so we're going to stay a long time. He did get his testing back from the doctor last time, and it came back that basically most of the allergens or reactions he had, a lot of that's cleared up. Now he hasn't had dogs around for a couple of weeks, so now we're going to do it again with the dogs. Um, but now we're going to try to clean more, wash more, brush more. Um, when I'm there, I'm not going to walk them in the park. I'm just going to walk them in the streets and stuff. Um, and we're just going to try and see what that does. Uh, and then he's going to get tested again. And then I guess we'll just go from there. But hopefully, uh, by taking precautions, different beds, cleaning their paws, hopefully by taking some precautions, 
we can obviously not reverse the allergies because it's there, but maybe we can minimize um, the results significantly. That's the hope at least. So, yeah. That's basically what's gonna happen today. So today is gonna be another busy day for me because yesterday I didn't get to do any work. I've got to catch up with my clients, got to catch up with my emails, got to edit a video, got to film another video. So I've got like for when I'm there to go up. I have to wash the dogs. I should really wash my own hair, but to be honest, I don't know if I'll have time for that. Maybe I'll just do that tomorrow at Alex's. I need to pack my bag, I need to prep some food. So I have a, a relenting day today. So I'm gonna go and uh, yeah, I will see you in the gym. I'm gonna train hamstrings because it's better to train hamstrings in pulse than it is in the other gym, the even Vassal gym. So, but I'm getting really lean though. I was uh, super, my weight was super low yesterday. So hold on, let's do a check. I mean, my chest is always looking good, even though I like, I don't even do, do my chest. So yeah, we're uh, we're moving in the right direction. However, I do fully expect my weight to be up today because I've noticed that on my rest days I walk a lot more. And yesterday I did almost twenty thousand steps, and every time I do a little steps, my weight goes up. And I usually sleep a bit worse as well because I'm hungry. So anyway, just as well looking good, shredded. Anyway, I'm gonna go. So since the training, I've done my food shopping, I've come back, I've filmed a video, I've edited it up, uploaded it, did some check-ins, and uh, 
started preparing my food, my bag, started doing some washing, walked the dogs, and now this trouble over here needs to be washed. Yeah, you, you need to be washed. And you're gonna hate it. Let's look at your little wound, shall we? So that's what the, that's what it's doing now. It's looking better than it did, actually, already. It was looking very red yesterday, but it's not so red today. Excuse me. Hello? Do you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? There we go. Let's get you washed up. So here is all the food I'm going to be taking with me. I've already packed my clothes, I've packed my gym bag, I've packed my toiletries. Um, just the usual suspects. We have, oh I forgot my chicken. Hold on. Can't forget this bad boy. The essential chicken, more chicken, rice, primo, cucumbers, gherkins, lemon, egg whites, uh, olives. Pineapple, rice, we have dog treats, these dill pickles, I went to one of the shops to have them and I had to pick them up, I couldn't resist. Uh, Facilum husk, pre-workout, not this pre-workout, I just use this stuff because it's nice and small. We've got whey protein in here, we've got some more whey protein here, barbecue sauce, my other supplements, sweetness. Um, I don't need to take this dog food. Dog food, dog medicine. So yeah, I'm just gonna pack this and basically then, are we gonna go to Alex? Are we gonna go to Alex? Are we gonna go to Alex? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Are you looking forward to seeing Alex again? Yeah, yes. And the brushes, most important. Well, your boyfriend has the best light. Hold on, let me see. I mean, I'm fast, so I'm looking a bit flat. was infected because obviously it I literally went to talk to the day after it appeared well I, I think it started appearing on like a, a Sunday uh, the night before but I really saw it the day the when I went to the doctor so 
Anyway, I need to brush my teeth. Look, this sticky. So that was a really good training. I literally already have muscle pain, so that bodes well. But I wanted to show you a little hack, which is mix your protein powder, your post-workout protein powder, with some casein. I'm not even focusing. And then look, it becomes like this really nice, put it away before you go training and you get like a little pudding. Obviously this is chocolate. Very nice. I'm going to do some work now. I think Alex is about to wake up. And um, yeah, that's it. I will. Um, today I'm going to film a Q&A, I think. Yeah, I'll film that today so I can upload that tomorrow. And I've otherwise got a reaction to upload. So And check-ins to do. I need to get cracking with the check-ins first, actually. I'll do that first so that that's done. One plan to write. Lots of stuff to do, as usual. So I'm quite aware that I'm looking like shit. Um, I'm not gonna lie, prep is gonna prep is prepping <laughs> big time. I've uh, I've been very hungry. My energy plummets enormously at the moment. Um, I've got a bit of a cold. I wonder, like Alex says it as well. I was wondering if it was allergies, but to be honest, I wonder if we both just got a bit of a cold or if it's uh, pollen or something. Because I'm feeling a bit snotty, like as you can hear, by me sniffling. So hopefully it's just a cold and not allergies. Um, I could hear myself talking, I sound a bit nasally as well. But uh, yeah, I woke up last night so hungry, I felt physically sick. 
I thought I was going to throw up from hunger. Even though actually last night I was a little bit naughty. And I ordered some sushi just because I had so... Again, the reason I didn't vlog yesterday, I, I was just so busy with work. By the time I finished my check-in, it was like 5, five o'clock. Um, Alex had made sure that he could finish work with us so we could spend some time together. And I'm just dead. Like literally by the time, because I had a very heavy training as you saw. By the time I finished doing my work day, I'm, j I'm just dead. Like I literally, this is how I noticed that I'm low in body fat, even though my food is quite high still. My energy is very, uh, because the body fat's low, my energy is just not there. Uh, it's there for bursts of time. In the evenings, I'm just exhausted. Um, on the plus side, my sleep's really good though, but I think I'm, I'm just too, I'm just too tired to not be able to sleep almost. Um, in terms of Alex and the allergies, I don't know. I think I'll have to check with him today how it's going. So what I'm doing now is I'm not to walking the dogs in the parks as much. Um, the walk that I do is I go through the park a little bit just so I can take a, a daisy off the lead and throw the, the, the sticks. So she can uh, run and get some energy. I brush them. First I go in with this undercoat brush and then I brush them with that. Every time before I go back in. Um, we've got these like dog wipes, special dog wipes. So I wipe them clean just to make sure there's no pollen. We're hoovering a couple of times a day. And we're just getting them to stay in their beds as much as possible um, to minimize the spread. So hopefully that's working. He's going to get testing done again in a couple of weeks and we'll see. Um, but the fact that he's got a bit of a runny nose and I'm, I've got it. I'm hoping it's just uh, it's just a cold. But yeah, uh, I, I can't lie that prep is wrapping. And I, this, this week is just everything. I'm just busy. And I'm wondering if it is also because I'm, I am starting to get, le get lean. And I'm getting to the point where, basically, like, my concentration is going, my energy is going. So maybe this is why work is just harder. Because I just, um, cognitively, I'm starting to decline a little bit, which is very normal in prep. This is also part of the reason why it's unhealthy. So, but I'm wondering if that's kind of happening. Um, because the, how lean I am now, I, I'm pretty sure I look like this maybe at, like, five weeks out last year. Four weeks out. I'm eight weeks out next week, guys. I'm like, I've, I'm halfway through my prep and I'm pretty much stage ready. Or like, I could probably be stage ready in a couple of weeks if I knock if I knuckle down and cut calories severely and did a little cardio. I could I could get stage ready in a couple of weeks. So, yeah. Anyway, I need to really try and get a new phone as well because this one is about to keep almost dying under the uh, under the filming that I'm doing. And I need to get a bigger memory. I just haven't had the time. Maybe tomorrow I can do it. I'll try and see tomorrow on the weekend what I can do. But yeah, prep is prepping. We're getting to a stage where the body fat is just so low that everything's getting hard, including holding my phone up. So I'm going to go now because it's getting heavy. All right, we're back with another car vlog. It's uh, Friday morning. I just dropped the dogs off at home for the simple reason that my laptop, the internet stopped working. Like, it looks like the, comp the drive to get online has completely just disappeared and I have no idea why. Um, Alex tried to look at it yesterday and he couldn't figure it out. Um, and on top of that, I thought I paid my phone bill because I did it online the other day and the balance disappeared from my, app, from my front side of my app. Clearly I didn't because I have no internet here or at home and I've been to a McDonald's and to a petrol station trying to connect to the Wi-Fi. Won't connect to the fucking Wi-Fi. So now I'm gonna go back to Alex I'll just go to the gym and see if they have Wi-Fi there because I don't actually know if they do. And if not, I have to wait for him to wake up, which is at like nine. Oh well, at eight o'clock, FIFA come open so I can call them then and see if I can pay through phone call. If not, that's super annoying because, but I won't be surprised if I couldn't because I'm gonna have to go to the shop or I'll have to wait until nine o'clock for Alex to wake up and just to use his laptop to log in. So like, I'm like in this limbo state now where I have a few hours where I can't really do anything because I can't get online. I can't do any work, I can't do any emails, I can't do any editing, so I'm just like, I mean I could train but fuck listening to like normal gym music, I can't do that, and also it's getting too late for them now anyway, by the time, um, by the time I get to the gym, and uh, I've had my pre-workout meal and all of those things, it's gonna be too late anyway, I'm supposed to check in, I won't have time for that either. So I don't fucking know. I think I'll check in with my coach tomorrow because I just won't have time for it today. Oh, but on a good note, 
Uh, Felica has found an apartment, so she's, moved, she's moving out today. Um, I haven't done a lot of vlogging the last couple of days because nothing has happened. I've literally just done a bit of training, working, and that's it. Uh, I slept very bad last night. I was extremely hungry. I've had two nights of being extremely hungry. I woke up one night. I woke up one night um, because I was so hungry in the middle of the night that I was I almost threw up. Last night I struggled falling asleep because I was so hungry, so I um, I basically just ate some chicken. And uh, yeah, I'm not today. Like prep is starting to prep. Let's just put it like that. I'm I'm noticing that I'm getting low on body fat. Uh, I'm hungry a lot. Uh, I'm tired easily. I'm tired a lot. I'm tired easily. Low energy. But uh, anyway. Let's just get back to Alex. I will go to the gym. I'm praying, pray to God that they have Wi-Fi so that I, at least I can pay my bill. Or try to pay my bill. Or at least I have music f for doing some uh, cardio. Because like, doing cardio without no music, nothing to look at, nothing. I, I can't, I, I can't do that. I'm sorry. I'm dedicated, but I'm not that de dedicated. I'll do it later then. <laughs> I'll just do some posing practice. Which is also really awkward without music, but whatever. Oh, holy crap. I'm so tired. I uh, don't know when I'm supposed to train either then. Maybe I'll go after Alex, but I can't probably because I need to drop my laptop off. So it's afternoon, I guess. At 12 o'clock I've got a nail appointment, a pedicure. But then I have to come back to walk the dogs. Unless I walk the dogs, I could walk the dogs before then. Maybe I'll do that, go home, walk the dogs at 11 instead. Come back, go to the gym. Well, go to get the pedicure, go to the gym, and then come back. I'm already stressed out. Even though it's nothing serious, like, I, can, I, know, I know I can pay the bill in a couple of hours, because it's not like I don't have money, but... Like, you know when it's just like... I rely, I really rely on having internet, because all my clients send me messages on WhatsApp, emails... I just can't do any work and it's kind of like and the reason why I feel frustrated is because now I'm wasting time and I don't like wasting time what can I do oh I really would like to have a nap as well I'm so freaking tired I slept so poorly but again I don't think I'll have time so what can I do besides try and go to the gym And uh, praying God that they uh, pray that they have Wi-Fi that I can just tap into, even if it's just for the day. I know that Alex has Wi-Fi, but Alex has got Wi-Fi, but I can't connect it from my phone because I don't know what his Wi-Fi code is. I just use my uh, my uh, 3G when I'm there. So I know I can just use his laptop, but obviously I don't know what his login is, is to his laptop either, and I'm not going to wake him up for that. So uh, for the weekend, let's talk about the weekend plans. Uh, well, Velika's moving, that means I'll probably have to do some cleaning and tidying and reorganizing my space because I've got a lot of like boxes and stuff like that in my bedroom. So, move that back. I want to try and organize my clothing, potentially. Um, I was thinking maybe going for a hike. Weather is very good. Oh, after the training, I have to work, to be honest, because um, I wanted to upload a video yesterday, which I couldn't. So, try and uh, get the Q&A up today, once my internet's paid, so I, I can go online. And then, but normally when I pay the internet, within 20 minutes everything, it gets reinstated, so that's not so much of an issue. Um, do a live stream, do training, give, do some spa for myself, which I could do with that. And that's about it, but at the moment I'm just, hu I'm just hungry, and I'm tired today, and that's not a nice way to be. Especially because the day's only started. But anyway, guys, so I figured I'd do a little update. Yeah, nothing, I've not filmed a lot because honestly, there's not, nothing has been worth filming. Uh, I'll, 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 I can talk about the allergies. So I asked Alex if it's like made the difference with the allergies. And he said, like, he thinks it does make a little bit of a difference. He said, but it's hard to say because it's one of those things where. Um, 
it takes like it it compounds over time where it's not like it the second he's around dogs he gets like a reaction it's just like over a period over a couple of weeks it's like it gets worse and worse so but he's saying for now it does seem like it is better with the cleaning and the brushing and the hoovering several times a day so obviously when he's going to get tested again we're not looking for perfection because he's, he's got an allergy the allergies is not going to go away it's just to see what the levels will have come down slightly or not that's what we're looking for and hopefully that is the case um and then we'll go from there so yeah that's another update <laughs> So, it's another relentless day, guys. Oh, me and my. So, after this morning, when I was stressing out, I did manage to connect to the internet in the gym and I managed to pay my phone bill, so I got my, my internet and stuff back. Then I went back to Alex, packed my stuff, and then I decided to train because Felica's moving today and I need to help her move some stuff around, which means that I have a couple of check ins, which I've again had to. Um, do via text check-in just for today because I don't know when I'm going to be back because I'm helping her move things um, I'm quickly eating something now which is cucumbers with uh, I made a burger yesterday uh, with the, the like the lean hello hi no I made a burger I made burgers yesterday with the lean protein beef uh, protein beef the lean ground beef that they do in the bio shop um, so I'm eating that now with some cucumber and then she's gonna come back soon and then we're gonna finish uh, moving some things that she needs me to help her with and then I still need to go to the shop to drop off my laptop because without my laptop I literally can't do any work whenever I'm with my boyfriend and then I also need to pick up a parcel um, today is just another day where time's escaping me it's just this whole week has been not how I want it to be in terms of like how I normally plan and schedule things everything's just go wrong like I like for for example with my computer I don't know if I said this I can't even remember but basically my internet just disappeared like you know where you get the icon in the bottom the way you click on to connect it, it's just not there anymore and Alex had a look and he said like it looks like the driver's been, been completely removed uninstalled and I literally don't know how that happened so oh but what can you do if I get all of this done this afternoon that means that I can just chill out and go to bed early tonight because I desperately need to I'm getting to that point in prep where prep is prepping um I really do notice the difference in being like lean like if I don't sleep properly I get very tired um, my workouts are not they're good but I'm very tired after the first 45 minutes but I'm starting to look really good though hold on can we can we get some veinage let's have a look Capture the veins. Oh, there we go. Look at that. And like, I actually haven't had that many carbs today uh, either. I've only had my pre workouts and my oats. Hold on. So, we're moving. We're moving. 
but I am. I feel like I was this lean maybe like four or five weeks out last time, and I'm eight weeks out. We still have a long way to go, don't we, girl? Yeah, all right, and then we just eat this, and hopefully it will give me some energy. Do some emails, and then move. And then, I don't know, whatever doesn't get done today, I'll have to do it tomorrow, because I just really don't have the energy at all. I, need, I really need to sleep, catch up with my sleep, because I feel like I'm dying. <laughs> Not actually, but I'm being dramatic, but you get the point. Shall we go for a pippies? Hey, Fannies. Daisy, be nice to your sister. Put your tail down. Hey, Roser. Hey. Kissy, kissy, kissy. Be nice, Daisy. Hey, Daiser. Daiser. Daisy, come here. Hey. Up, 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 up. Put your hair down. Oh. Hey, excuse me. Hey. Look at me. No. Hey. Stop it. Do you want to go for a pee pee or not? Huh? Do you want. Daisy, put your hairs down. Look at me. Look at me. Good girl. Come on, let's go for pee pee. Who wants a little cheeky? Look here. Look. Here. Okay, come on, let's go for pee pee. Well, it's seven o'clock and that's my day done as good as. If you're wondering what I've got on my face, it's a, it's an acid mask. I felt like I really, my skin was looking very dull, um, partially because I'm extremely tired, but also because I haven't actually done like a full skincare routine. So what I've done is I use my cellar water to cleanse, then I use like a deep cleansing tonic, then I did a scrub, and now I've put this acid on there, which I'll leave on for 10 minutes. And then I'll go in with some la lactic, not lactic acid, but some sort of other acid. Then I'll go in with uh, salicylic acid, uh, some retinol, and then I'll moisturize at the end of it. And then I'm pr pretty much going to go to bed. I'm going to have a shower. I'm, I'm going to have a shower after this. Maybe put on a bit more fake tan because I want to be a bit more fake tan. This is okay, but I want to, because I'm checking in tomorrow. I want a fake tan. So what I think I'll do is I'll maybe try and film like... A full day of eating or something tomorrow or uh, incorporate some food or maybe some gym footage my check-in as well and then from sunday we'll start a new weekly vlog just because i've barely vlogged this week at all but i've kind of needed it to be honest uh it does get like hard to especially when you're not doing anything and when you're like extremely busy but not doing fun things just work things like there's nothing really to talk about so yeah isn't it little missus are we going to have a look and see if the Kiwi Farms is back on the tour? Yeah, let's go and look and see if the Kiwi Farms is back on the tour.
So I'm just having my pre-workout meal, even though I'm not going to go to the gym for like another hour and a half, maybe a bit longer, but I'm going to go after this to shop, wash my car and get a parcel. And then I go to the gym and I find the train a little bit better so my, my food is a bit more digested. Um, just cream of rice as usual. Very happy with my check-in, looking really lean. Considering my weight is 75.8, I was literally looking at some pictures of me at 13 weeks out, I'm 8 weeks out now. Uh, same sort of weight, complete different. Like, I'm heavier now actually than I was at 8 weeks out, at 13 weeks out, but I'm leaner now. Growth <laughs> hormone works very well, very well. I've also been increasing my quad training and I think that's very noticeable too. My quads are significantly bigger. Didn't sleep very well last night to be honest. I've been awake since three o'clock, but that's fine. I'm gonna definitely have a nap at lunchtime. And I'm just gonna spend today doing pre-recording, doing a live stream and just kind of get a lot of work done. But that's more I can have a bit more of a rest day. I'm actually at a point now where like the scale doesn't even bother me anymore. Cause it's like, I mean, I'm getting leaner, so. Well, it doesn't matter how much I weigh. If anything, that's good. The more I weigh, the better. The leaner I get, the better. Imagine if I step on stage like <laughs> five kilos heavier. I was here sitting thinking I'll be happy with like two kilos. I reckon it's gonna be between three and four kilos now, actually. But anyway, today we're training quads. I will take my camera today. I feel like filming. Um, we'll see how heavy we go, because I've trained quite a few days in a row now. So I'm not too sure. Um, no squats because I squatted yesterday. I'm feeling pretty good. I got some more of my favorite pre-workout, the um, the uh, so this, the, the uh, Alpha Lion one, Supreme something something is called. It's like my favorite pre-workout, so I'm gonna take some of that. And yeah, we're just gonna have hopefully a pretty decent session. Come home, eat and sleep basically, <laughs> and then do some more work for the afternoon. That's exactly my plan. And do some cleaning in here as well. No, the really gas won't like tidy up some bits and bobs. And I think I'll do that tomorrow as well. So yeah. I'm in a good mood, pretty hungry, kind of tired, but it's fine. Mm. I'm gonna do this, prepare my check-in, and you'll see me in the gym. Alright, so that session started off great, ended up in a gear, ended up not so gear, not so, ended up not so great. Um, I was doing the hack squat and I was going fairly heavy, but not like, I need to move my seat, but not like crazy heavy for me. Oh. And uh, Basically, uh, on my fourth rep, 
I could feel that I didn't brace properly and uh, I could feel something funny in my lower back then I tried to do one more wrap and I was like hmm this doesn't feel right so then I uh, so then I decided to um, feel it a little bit with stretching it got worse and worse and then I didn't do any more hack squats I just did uh, leg extensions in isolation around oh fucking hell five sets of like around 20 reps with slow tempo and then I just did some stretching Lucy came into the gym funnily enough I'm actually seeing her tomorrow for like a walk and training um, obviously depending on how I feel I'm not gonna train at very high intensity which maybe isn't that bad because I have trained many days this week and I've trained actually very heavy this week also So, uh, I um, now I'm gonna pick up a parcel, head home, edit a video, and then I will lay with my uh, feet up for a moment, have a nap, take some diclofenac because I have um, it's like a it's like a sciatica sort of feeling. So I've had this before, this has happened to me, I get this probably like two or three times a year, so I know how to fix it, it's just a case of not training heavy, um, doing a lot of stretches for the lower back and the hips, be careful with my walking, also not get too sedentary because that actually seizes it up more, um, and yeah just take it really easy with training, so like for like maybe the next week or half a week I probably can't train very heavy. And also I need to um, see the chiropractor and message him but I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to come back to me hopefully Monday or Tuesday I can get an appointment in the soonest so that's a bit of a failure but these things happen you know and the thing is like 140 isn't actually that heavy for me like I mean like oh, 140 120 three plates aside it's heavy heavy like don't get me wrong but it wasn't like as a struggle heavy so I just I just didn't brace properly I could feel it as I was setting up that I didn't brace properly so I just realized that it's probably very noisy with the window open sorry anyway uh, I should my check into the coach he's very happy getting some striations which he's very happy about uh, and then I guess I'll find out what he's gonna change uh, to be honest I don't think he'll change my food around too much um, I think he'll probably just add in um, a Remedex going forward because he told me to get that last time. So yeah, that's it really. But not ideal because I was actually kind of like hyped up, like you know, I was in the mood to train. I was in the mood. To, I felt good. I felt like I wanted to train heavy, but it is what it is. This happened. Um, so I just have to be really sensible with my training going forward and just be careful with my movements in general. Which should be okay. Um, I probably won't do an awful lot more vlogging today guys for the simple reason that I want to try and pre-film a couple of videos. I want to do a reaction later and I need to really edit the video now and I've got to finish some check-ins and um, writing up. my. I did some check-ins in the week and because I've had laptop issues things didn't save properly so I just need to update a couple of files for people as well and send that back out to them. So that's tomorrow. Oh, look he's trying to have a day of like not really doing much work at all. Uh, except for I'll do a members live stream tomorrow, but tomorrow we'll start a new weekly vlog basically. So yeah That's it really <laughs> I'll be back in a bit. Maybe I'll show you some of the meals. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna make a I'm gonna I saw chicken pickle on Twitter Twitter said the way chicken pickle is a channel uh, But they also have like a Twitter obviously and I saw how they made pico de gallo And I'm gonna make it because it looks really tasty and I think like it could be very nice just to have a little bit on the side with some of my um dishes sometimes so I'm gonna make some pico de gallo to go with my chicken and my bean my uh, cucumbers and stuff uh, so I can show you how I make that basically but now I have pretty much come to the parcel shop so I'm gonna go because I need to get my parcel so disregard the parcel shop because there's like a queue of 10 people outside And I really can't not be fucking bothered to wait for that half an hour waiting to pick up our parcel. 
It's nothing urgent, so I will get it on a Monday instead. Or maybe if I'm walking back past later, maybe I could get it. But probably not. I think it closes at like one o'clock. <gasps> Holy crap, I'm tired. <sighs> oh, I need to eat, work, and have a nap. That's what I need to do. Alright guys, it's half past seven, <clears throat> I'm going to have my last meal of the day, which is uh, 200 grams of chicken because I'm literally running two meals behind, uh, six rice cakes, which is the amount of rice I should have, my pineapple 100 grams uh, with cucumber and pico de gallo, uh, I'll eat this after finishing some work, and then I'll probably go to bed around nine I guess, because that's what I always do, so but I'm going to eat this first and then do some work. And this will be the end of the weekly vlog. Uh, updates on my diet. My coach has dropped some of my carbs. Which to be honest I'm happy about. Because I'm actually struggling eating all of the meals. Um, he's up my clen. And the Remedex is going in. So there's that. And that's it. So thank you very much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Nine emoji. Because this was the nine week out vlog. I will be back with a... Uh, Eight weeks out. Time goes quick, but slow at the same time. But I'm feeling good about how I'm looking, which is what matters. Today, at least. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.